Let us now discuss the model 3 where we are supposed to find out the total number of persons in a row when the positions of two persons from two different ends is given to us. If you remember in model number 1 as well we have learned how to find out the total number of persons in a row. But the difference between model number 1 and model number 3 is in model 1 the positions of the same person from two different ends were given to us. But if you observe here, the positions of two different persons from two different ends will be specified. So let us understand how to find out the total number of persons in this case. The point here is, in a row of persons, if the positions of A and B from the left end and the right end are L and R respectively and there are N persons between A and B, then the total number of persons in that row will be given as follows. Here two answers are possible. Let us understand both of them. In the first case, let us take the left end, the right end and the positions of A and B as shown. As given in the question, the position of A from the left end is L. The position of B from the right end is R and in between A and B we have N persons. So I can say that the total number of persons in the row are L plus N plus R. So that's how we get the total number of persons when A and B are positioned as shown. But as I've already mentioned, there is also a second case possible here. Let's look at that. In this case, the left end and right end are taken as shown, but the positions of A and B are interchanged. If you compare with the first case, a was closer to the left end, but in the second case, A is closer to the right end. Before we understand this, let me draw your attention to one important point in the given statement. If you observe, the given statement only mentions that the positions of A and B from left end and the right end are L and R respectively. But nowhere it has been mentioned that A is closer to the left end or A is closer to the right end. That is the reason we are considering both the possible cases here. So now if we come back to case number 2, A is closer to right end and B is closer to the left end, which is quite opposite when compared to case 1. Now as given, the position of A from the left end is L and the position of B from the right end is R. And let us assume there are N persons in between A and B. Now when we add L plus R in this case, the number of persons in between A and B have been counted twice. And as we need the total number of persons, each person has to be counted only once. So in order to justify that, let us subtract N from the total of L plus R. Also, the persons A and B have been taken twice in the sum of L plus R. So we also need to subtract the positions of A and B once from this sum. So subtracting the repeated count of A and B, that is 2, we can say that the total number of persons in this case will be L plus R minus of N plus 2. So friends, as you have seen, we have two possible answers for model number 3. The first answer would be L plus N plus R and the second answer is L plus R minus of N plus 2. So how do we get to know which is the correct answer for this question in the exam? So the point here is whenever such a statement is given to us, we can find out the total number of persons in two different ways. We need to find out both the possible answers and whichever is available in the options has to be treated as the correct one. Otherwise the answer would be cannot be determined. Let us now take an example based on this point. The given question here is P is 14 from the left end and Q is 7 from the right end in a row of boys. What is the total number of boys in the row if there are 4 boys between P and Q? And the given options are 25, 23, 21, 19 and 20. So as you can see, we are supposed to find out the total number of persons in this row. And the positions of P and Q from the left end and right end are given to us. As we have just learned, there are two possible answers for such a given case. The first answer here would be the position from the left end plus the position from the right end plus the number of persons in between the two persons. So by taking the values in the given question, 
the position of t from the left end is 14 plus the position of q from the right end is 7 and we have 4 persons in between p and q. So we can say that the total number of persons in that row can be 14 plus 7, 21 plus 4, 25. And the second possible answer here is L plus R minus of N plus 2. Where again L and R are the positions from the left end and the right end for two different persons and N is the number of persons in between the two persons. So by taking the given values we get 14 plus 7 minus of 4 plus 2 which comes out to be 21 minus 6 that is 15. So the two possible answers for this given question are 25 or 15. And as we can see from the given options the answer 15 is not available and 25 is given in option number 1. So we can say that the total number of persons in this row will be 25. But in case if both the answers are available in the options then we need to look for that option which says the answer cannot be determined. 